taking the time. Um, there are a few people here, we're just having a conversation with Alan here. You know, every one of you is our publicity machine. Every one of you is our advertising, as it were, right? Word of mouth, there's absolutely no uh, substitute for it. So please spread the word. This is our last day, so there's nothing else for the rest of this year. But do take the word out there and, uh, and just spread it to your networks. Uh, this is the final day for Cliff for 2012. We're going to start off with a film called uh, Dos Revolucion. We are very privileged to have the director, the filmmaker here, who did a lot of traveling back and forth. Uh, he's uh, a teacher, and uh, I think this film is one more example of how we can use film to educate. And this is from an educator. So let me give it over to, uh, to Paul Ball. Right, so this is a film which I, um, which I began working on in uh, 2010, in the, uh, in the spring of September 2010. And it's basically something which we, I, myself, and the other folks worked on for about a year and a half or so. And as the film title indicates, it covers the impact of free trade and neoliberal policies generally in Mexico, connections to Canada. And um, a, lot, a lot has changed since I began working on this film. Uh, noteworthy, uh, especially yesterday, some of you may have heard the um, the new president of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, was sworn into office, and uh, he marks, marks the return of the Institutional Revolutionary Party, the, the PRI, back into back into national power after been out of office for 12 years, and that's significant because during the <coughs> century, in Mexico for 70 years or so, Mexico was governed be between the Mexican the end of the Mexican Revolution and uh, 2000 by this this authoritarian kind of quasi-populist party. Um, which a lot of people struggled against. And so many people um, on the left and the social movements in Mexico have been very discouraged about how they were able to get back in. But many ways of him being able to get back into power was um, people were rejecting to a large extent the party which had what had previously been in office, the National Action Party of Felipe Calderon, who was president, who uh, is talked about a fair bit in this film. And, uh, and especially his failed strategy, the drug war, uh, which has resulted, as the film does talk about, in over 60,000 deaths since 2006, between 2006 and 2012, uh, many innocent people um, in the drug war, and many people believe that um, it was a disastrous strategy pursued by the government of what they supposedly claimed was, was taking on the cartels, when really it resulted in a lot of people's lives being lost, and a loss of civil liberties and human rights violations in Mexico. Um, so that's, that, those are some really big issues that are happening right now in, in Mexico. And um, yeah, I guess I'll be here, as Frank said, I'll be here after the film. So I'm looking forward to a more fulsome discussion after that. Um, think, please think about topics uh, or issues which you, you would be interested in kind of discussing and exploring further after the film. This, this film, it was a real challenge for me to make just because I wanted to really try to embrace the broader impact of NAFTA and how the different faucets of how it affects um, Mexico and, and, and also Canada and the United States, but to do so within a reasonable length of time was very, very hard. It was very, very difficult, and to do that, to go to any kind of depth at all. So um, there's a lot of stuff I had to leave out, basically, and it's still a long time. Um, so please bring up any topics you want to talk about more after the film. Thank you for coming. Just before we get to the film, we'll run just a, a small list of credits thanking some of the people who have helped with the festival. And uh, then we'll go right to Dos Revolucion. I think we're ready to go. So I just also want to acknowledge that our projectionists are local, our members of uh, Steelworkers Local 1998. So thank you.